Hello kids, Happy Kaz here again with another little watercolour tutorial for you. Sometimes you may not know what to paint if you want to do a little bit of watercolour painting but you have no inspiration on what you can do. Well, have a little bit of a walk outside and see what you can find. My uh, inspiration for most of my watercolour paintings is nature and I went outside this afternoon and found these cool looking little leaves. Now the reason I love these leaves here is one, this one's a very interesting shape and this one here I really like the coloring in this one so if we were just to grab our pencil and I'm just using my watercolor paper here just going to use my pencil here and just copy um, roughly what this leaf looks like and I'm not going to be super neat with this we're having a little bit of fun remember when we're doing watercolor painting together and just making it a little bit different in shape varying the lines a little bit just to make it a little bit interesting now you don't need to do exactly that but again I'm just using this as a little bit of inspiration and I'm going to use this leaf here for inspiration on the coloring that I might use now I'm just going to start with a, a brush like this you can use any brush you like and what I'm going to do first is fill in this whole space just with water now you might think that's a little bit strange, we're not adding any watercolour just yet, but if you've done a few of my classes already, you'll know that this is a great technique to really enjoy what the watercolour painting does when it touches the water that you've already placed down. So our little goal today is not focusing on a perfect leaf picture. We're going to have fun in the process like we always do. We're going to have a little bit of a relaxing time, use colors that make us smile. In particular, this leaf makes me smile right now. So I'll be, going to, I'll be using this type of coloring just to see what is possible. And it's super fun. I want you to also notice how you're feeling while you're painting. When I'm painting, I feel a lot more relaxed and I just enjoy what I'm doing. And as I've said before, I love collecting lots of nature things too, which is why this is my inspiration today. Okay, so I have filled this in with water and then I'm just going to add, get a smaller brush here, a smaller rounded brush. And I might just start adding in, you've got, you can see here we've got some sort of mustardy yellow tones. So I might just, and I'm not going to try and make this exactly like this. I'm just using this again as my inspiration. And I'm just going to start adding in lots of colour. Now this particular uh, method we're doing now is called blooming. And why it's called blooming, as you can see, is as I'm touching the paint onto the water that I've already placed on my paper, it's blooming, it's spreading out into those water areas, which is very cool. It's really fun to watch that, isn't it? So let's just add all this mustardy type color in here. Again, this is just inspiration. And I can see here also that there's quite a bit of green. If you can see here in this leaf here as we're using, there's a lot of green as well. So let's add a little bit of lime green. And this is definitely going to be blending into the other colors, which we definitely want that to happen. It's, it's really fun to see what is possible, often when we're adding other colors. Um, and after it dries, you'll see, you'll notice lots of other um, cool things happening. So just a little bit more green up here as well. And the other color that I can see in here that's coming out quite a lot is this dark brown color. So we'll just finish putting in these lime colors. And you can do this with any type of leaf. You can just use it as an inspiration of what type of colors that you might like to use. And all right, let's add in some darker brown over here. So just adding a little bit of water. I mean, and I think that's like there's quite a bit on the tip here. Just if I'm going by this here, there's a little bit down here in this area here. And there's some happening over here as well. And this is something I literally picked up about five minutes ago outside. I thought, oh, I really like the coloring in that. So let's, let's just try and paint it. And it's not exactly the same shape or uh, where the placement of color is. It's just an inspiration we can use if we're not really sure on what we might like to paint. Have a look outside and see what you can find. Okay, I can see here there's like little kind of speckled dots and things. So I definitely love splatting. And if I do splatting on this, I know that it's gonna go 
all over the page, but I like the concept of having a little bit of variation in my picture. So if I just get the, the lime green here, I get my other brush and just tap on the top. I'm gonna need a little bit more, I think. You can see here that's adding in those little, those little speckled areas, isn't it? And again, I'm not painting this, I'm just having a bit of fun splashing around, tapping on top of my brush. We might even add, if you have a look at my leaf here again as inspiration, we might even add just a little bit of the brown as well. Again, this is not gonna go exactly like this leaf, but it's beautiful. Here we go, let's add a little bit of brown as well. And there's a few more down the bottom here. Okay, here we go. So I've got this shape here that we've used for inspiration. And then we've used this as inspiration for the coloring that we've used. Now I'm gonna get my little brush again and this will probably blend a little bit. We're gonna add some fine liner details into this a little bit later. But let's just add a couple little stripes up the middle there. And then just some varying stripes here as well, which gives the impression of the leaf. Can you see that? So we're adding the kind of the veins on the leaf here. And again, I'm not being too careful with this. I'm just putting these on nice and lightly. And then I might just finish it off with a few more of the, the lime green splats. Here we go. Again, just tapping on the top of my brush like this. <laughs> I think I've definitely got paint splats on my face right now, but I can tell you I'm feeling pretty happy. <laughs> okay. So, have a look at this. Just as inspiration from outside, you can create a pretty cool looking watercolor leaf. Now, if you would like, you can add some detailing to this using your fine liner. So we'll wait for this to dry and let's add some details. Is your leaf picture dry? Mine is dry now. So we're going to add a few little details just to finish this little picture off. So I'm just gonna grab my fine liner pen and have a look at my inspiration again here, what I picked up earlier. And I can see here there's, you know, just some different little lines and um, markings on this little leaf here. So I might just do something very simple. And again, I don't wanna to be too perfect with this. This is just inspiration. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit of a line up the middle like this. And there's a few sort of going off the sides here and there as well, if I have a look at this carefully. So just a few little markings here and there, just to finish it up. And you know what, I feel like I wanna add just a little bit more splatting. I do love that. As these have dried, they just become a little bit more uh, lighter. And I've got quite a few dark areas around here. So I'm just going to get my paintbrush one more time and add a few more little um, splats of the darker color just to finish it off. And you might look, it's okay to go back to your page and say, you know what, I think I wanna add a little bit of this or a little bit of that. That makes it just all the more fun. So I'm just gonna tap on the top of my brush here and maybe add a few little speckles here and there too, just for fun. There we go, that's awesome. So, obviously, not exactly the same, but a nice little inspiration to create a cool little picture and have fun in the process. So, don't forget to share with me what leaf you found in your backyard and what, how and how you painted it, whether you use the splatting technique, whether your shape is a little bit different to mine, I'll really look forward to seeing it.